We are so excited to officially unveil this mural today. 8,205 games were played by the San Diego Padres in the history of our Major League franchise before we achieved our first no-hitter. If you talk to Joe, he'll be quick to tell you that pitchers don't throw a no-hitter in a vacuum. It's with a team behind him. And he sees this as a team accomplishment. And even though you see Joe on this mural and the significance of the hometown kid from Grossmont High doing something that had never been done before in San Diego, to the delight of our Padres fans, it's a special story, but it's also a team accomplishment. We are, of course, very proud of Joe's historic achievement and all that he's accomplished on the baseball field. But we're even more proud of how he stays connected with our students and how much he cares for his community. To us, this mural that we're unveiling today honors both Joe's historic achievement and the person he has become. One of my favorite things, though, about Joe, like we've already heard, is that he, is reg he regularly visits our campus because he truly cares about our student athletes and our community. We're so very proud of Joe making history for our city and the Padres with this no-hitter performance this last Friday. Minutes, literally minutes, after the final out, the Padres reached out to us about commemorating this historic moment with a mural at our school. And we were honored to be part of making this idea come to life. Like it says, it was meant to be. It really felt that way. Uh, coming together was such a collaborative effort um, from, you know, when we first did the Tony Gwynn mural, uh, we were in contact with the Padres ever since. And um, just the, their, their trust and faith in us really just means so much to us. Um, so for them to reach out to us, even as, as the no-hitter was, was happening, to, to, to get ready and get in our car, get our paint ready to go. And then um, the next morning we started, and, and it couldn't have happened without uh, the Padres working so fast and Grossmont High School working so fast as well. He comes out all the time when we have practices, and we all go to say hi to him. He's a really nice guy. He's always super supportive of the community. He loves San Diego, loves Grossmont. Comes back because this is his home mater, you know. And he's just an amazing guy, loves the sport more than anything, loves just playing the game and, and helping other people learn how to play baseball. And it's just an amazing thing. Such pride of that, because I can say, hey, yeah, John Mosco came to this school and we're carrying on his legacy. And it's, we're going to carry on his legacy for as long as we can. We're going to keep playing hard. And it's amazing. I think it's the most beautiful thing I've seen in a while. I don't you know, see a lot of murals around San Diego, but seeing a legend like Joe Musgrove at our school in a mural form is spectacular. It feels like such an honor. Who would have thought that we would be, uh, I guess, commemorating something so special, especially so soon after it happened. Um, it, it feels really nice to be able to like memorialize this part of history. Of course. The way that we do with our craft it feels very fulfilling. The split second where he was like, "Yes!" As soon as he got, <laughs> as soon as he got the out at first, that was his reaction. And I was like, "I need any, any other moment would be cool, but this one was it was meant to be." Yeah, I think what's so special about this image, uh, in particular, is that's how we all felt. Yeah. All of us who were watching the game felt this way when it happened. So to see the passion there, uh, the ferocity is really nice that we were able to encapsulate that. We did the same exact thing when we finished. We're like, yeah, <laughs> you know, so, it, you know, it, it just, we put our hearts out there and, and I'm so, super glad you could see that.